Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome everyone. Today I wanted to chat with you guys about how can you live on almost nothing. Let's get right into it. There are many folks out there either because they want to pay off debt or save for something that they are going scorched earth and they are slashing everything. Can we live off barely any money a month? A really low amount of money. I think it can be done. It may not be pleasant. It may be short term. There are some folks that are living on a small income and I've known of people that have really gone through their budget and created what I call a bare bones budget. How do you do it? My dad, for example, has done this. The reason why, as many of you know, he has a pension. He's still getting it, but he doesn't know if it may run out. So he reallocated his budget and has it set up so where he could live off what he has without the pension. Very smart, Dad. So if you have anything or have to live off almost nothing, what can you do? First thing to do is, I always say this, if you can get your living costs down, your transportation costs down, and your medical costs down, the other stuff can be a lot easier to deal with. So if you're living in a house, what, what are the taxes like? Do you have a really high house payment? Can you move in with a family member? Can you take in somebody to rent? What are your options that way? Also medical costs. You know, there's so many options out there. Are there other options out there for medical and transportation? I know of folks that don't have a vehicle and they just do all, everything online and have groceries and everything delivered to them. And then they maybe pay a friend once a month to take them on errands. There's so many ways to save money. We've spoken about this before. I know many families that don't even have a television because really it takes away from family time. Or if they do, they may just rent movies from the library. Sum it up, the, you, don't, you don't buy books, movies, any of it. The library is your friend. Now I'm gonna show you my thermostat real quick. Okay, over here, you can see it's 74 in here. It, outside, I know it's in the upper 80s right now. It's in September. Well, I know of folks that they do have a central heating system in their house. But if you're really not wanting to spend much on electricity and say they don't have solar, they keep their heat no lower than 60 or no higher than 65 in the winter and they just layer up. Then in the summer, and to me this would be a little balmy, and then let's say they have 100 degree temperatures, they keep theirs on 80 to 81 and they just keep fans on and they only turn on the air conditioner until it is really, really hot. I would have a hard time with that one, but hey, they, they're doing what they have to do. Bottom line, living on almost nothing, they don't spend a lot of money. They don't buy a lot of makeup. They do everything for themselves. You know, everyone has to do what works for them. Now, I know somebody that really got creative with their budget. Many folks think that everybody has to have a really nice smartphone with all, you know, the data plan and everything else. People that I know, they're living off almost nothing. What they do is they get a basic phone where they pay as you go and they just don't use it a whole lot. They're, like I said, they're going bare bones budget. Another thing, you can see I have internet over here. I work from home, I have to have it. Well, I know of a few people that they cut their internet out. They don't use it. And so they go to the library to do this and they may even get a hotspot from the library. So they take advantage of any free service or discount service out there. Another thing, follow me into the kitchen real quickly, is I know people have talked about bare bones grocery budget. Well, folks that I know that really maybe only have $100 a month for groceries, they don't eat a lot of meat, and I'm gonna tell you one thing they don't do, and I'll just show you, okay? I know I've shown this to you tons of times. They don't buy stuff like this, which you know Money Mom does, okay? And you know, they don't spend money on drinks. They probably may not even buy coffee. They just drink water. They're gonna do a lot of old-fashioned oats. They may buy this in bulk. They're gonna do beans and rice and things like that. I know there's a lot more things that I could do to be way more frugal if I wanted to. I kind of consider myself modified frugal. They also will hang their clothes out to dry. There's a lot of things that they can do. Another thing I want to mention, a way that they're going to save a lot of money is they are, you know, I have glass cleaner. I bought this at the Dollar Tree. They're probably going to make their own and they're not going to have multiple cleaning products, multiple beauty products. They're gonna probably use, buy a gallon of vinegar 
and they're going to just use and maybe baking soda, make their own and have minimal products because if you're living on a bare bones budget, you're not spending a lot of money. So that's something else that you would do. Another, I'm just going to give you one more little thing that I know, folks. Follow me into the bathroom real quickly. Another th way that people can save tons of money, we all think that we need to take these long showers every day, okay? And here's one of our bathrooms here. We have one in the back. People don't have to shower and wash their hair every day. Now, some people work outside. They may feel like they need to, but people could save a lot of money if they took three-minute showers, maybe use some dry shampoo sometimes, sponge bathe, maybe, you know, took a bath every other day. That would save a lot of money right there on water. So people on bare bones budgets are always thinking of conserving and they are really finding creative ways to save money. Now, like I told you guys, I'm not living this lifestyle. Could I live this lifestyle? May not be my favorite, but I would find a way to do it if I needed to. And if you are trying to pay off debt, say you have $20,000 in debt and, and you, know, you don't want to take five years to pay it off, you could pay it off a lot faster if you're willing to temporarily live on almost nothing. And that's what I'm going to leave you with today. What are some tips where you can actually live off n almost nothing, barely any money a month? What are some ideas that you have come up with that you could share with the viewers in the comments below? That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And like always, I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.